Hello, today I'm going to be unboxing a Demco knife. This is my one of my grails, or a variation of it. These are extremely hard to find. And I saw, I saw that American Edge had a drop of these, so I picked one up as soon as I could. Uh, side flaps are really long. Okay. All right. So we got some stickers here. American Edge. <laughs> That's cool. And we got the Shark Lock sticker. Very nice. We got some candy. That's fun. Let me look at this paper real quick. Oh. Got a handwritten letter. Thank you for shopping with us. From Brittany. Excellent. All right, here's the box. It's actually much smaller than I thought it would be. There's no uh, label on it, like a sticker. So that's interesting. This uh, should be new, so it's not pre-owned or anything. Hmm, interesting. So there's a, an adhesive that they could like use to seal it, but they didn't actually use it. That's interesting. Okay, so here it is. This is a MG8020i. So it's full thickness, full size, full everything, 8020 MG, which means machine ground. So it's not a custom. Um, but the I stands for international. So what that means is the blade and the lock bar um, are internationally sourced. So the blade was made in Italy, I believe, and the lock bar was made in Taiwan, I believe. However, functionally, it's the same thing as a regular full-sized 8020. So on the blade steel, if you can see that, CPM 20 CV, that's pretty cool. Uh, this is my very first full-size 8020. So I'm super excited about this. This is my grail knife. <laughs> and yeah, it feels really nice. Very clicky. It's actually kind of, the lock is a little bit sticky. Like it kind of doesn't want to go back. I think I've heard of that though. Oh, it's stuck. What's happening? Wow, yeah, the lock is really sticky when you're trying to close it. Opening it is not as easy, but then it sticks when you try to close it sometimes. There we go. Maybe you just have to break it in, but um, yeah, this is my grail knife. I got the white because I didn't like the other colors that were available, and I know you can dye G10, um, so I'm, I'm planning to dye these probably um i'm thinking either just regular black or maybe like a red like blood red so if you guys have any ideas for that let me know in the comments um the indicator that it's an i variant instead of a regular mg8020 is the jimping on here you can see it's wide jimping and there's also no like, some of them have little micro jimpings inside the jimping, but this one doesn't. Oh, yeah. 
feels so <laughs> it feels so nice and thick. I love it. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. This is sick. And I like the drop point. The uh, regular one with the clip point. I never really I never really loved that look. Yeah, this one. This blade shape. I much prefer the drop point. <clears throat> and you might be wondering, uh, isn't aren't these full sized? Well, they're actually clones <laughs> that I got from AliExpress of the 8020S. So they're not full thickness because apparently that's too difficult to do for like clones. But yeah, I got those off Ali. They're okay, you know, but they're not this. You know, like the thickness really changes the whole feel of this. It just feels so much better. This is the... The official way to close a Demco is to let it fall down and then let it finish off. That's how Andrew does it apparently. I've seen him do that on like Blade Show videos and stuff and he talks about it. The thumb uh, studs are also pretty nice. Like really big actually. <laughs> so if you're wondering, not all of my, these are all clones, right? This is a clone of a 20.5 and this, this is my only real Demco that I've got so far. This is 20.5 from uh, DLT in um, OS 10A. Uh, this one, I believe these are all 9CR, but they're marked obviously differently. But yeah, I put skiff bearings in here as well. So it's super glassy on the action. It's like, it flies out. I love it. This is like one of my top three knives. But now, now that I have this, who knows, we'll see. I might try to put skiff bearings in this too, but I don't know. The G10 feels nice, and it's not like, it's super hard, like it's not flexible at all. Some knives that are in G10, you can kind of bend them, but nah, not this one. It's super thick G10. So this is super cool. Heck yeah, dude. Oh, there's, oh, there you go. On the bottom, it says, here, can you see that? On the bottom of the blade, it says 8020i. And then deep down in there, let me try and let's see if I can. Deep down in there is the patent and then 8020i. Um, we got uh, Wampum PA and Demco knives. Nothing on the blade. There's no, well, I mean, the markings are on the spine and the part where you can't really see, which I think is super classy. It's an excellent way to mark your blade because then you keep the actual visible part super clean. It looks really nice. <laughs> so yeah, my first MG full-sized, full thickness, 8020. It's the eye, but honestly, I'm not one of those guys that really cares where they where they source their stuff from. So this is to me this is basically just as good as a regular 8020. And yeah, this is my grail. Came with some candy. <laughs> so yep, there you go. Thanks for watching.